strings are very important because they help you get the most out of your racket. For example, uh, improve the spin, improve the comfort in your game. So there are two different types of strings, natural gut and then synthetic strings. Synthetic strings can be divided into categories, monofilament strings and multifilament strings. Monofilament strings uh, are made of polyester. It's just one string. They will last longer than multifilament and they will also generate more snapback effect, so more spin. I would recommend polyester string to players looking for more durability and also maybe for a more firm feeling. So multifilament, uh, as the name says, is made of many fibers. It will absorb the shock and so the player will feel less stiffness in the string. I would recommend uh, young players to use uh, multi-filament strings. It's very important that they uh, preserve the joints and uh, the arm. I would also recommend it to players looking for more of a soft feeling. With the same racket, depending on the setup on your string, you can have very, very different uh, sensations. So this is why trying is so important. Two or three different options could be a good way to find out if the string that you have chosen is, uh, is a good one. I would recommend that you start with a multi-filament because it will be the easier string to play with. Players who switch to monofilament are players who start breaking a lot with multi-filament. So when it starts to be a problem for them, we tend to recommend them to switch to a soft polyester. When they start breaking this uh, more, then they can switch to a stiffer polyester. The gauge is the thickness of the string. So if you like a string but you think it's breaking a bit too often, you might want to try it in a bit of a thicker gauge. You will lose a bit of touch, but you will gain uh, durability. Basically, lower tension will give you more of a trampoline effect, so it will make that the ball will bounce on the string bed and will have a good uh, power. Higher tension will make that you get more control with the ball. Trying is the best option. Uh, you can ask your stringer to do one kilo more, one kilo less, you know, and from this, you know, adjust your setup according to your preferences. Most of the time, they blend polyester string for durability with a multi filament string for comfort. This is, for me, the, the, the ideal setup. If comfort is a main parameter, then maybe mount the multi filament on the mains. If you are looking for more durability, I would probably mount the polyester string uh, on the mains and then use multi-filament on the crosses. You might feel it when you play. Some players are very sensitive to this. When you play once a week, change your strings once a year. If you play three times a week, change your th strings three times a year. I would say that a major uh, mistake that people could do is that they want to do like the pros. So a kid will come and tell me, oh, this is my favorite player. I read that he plays with uh, this string and this tension. I want to have the same. You should try to talk with the player and explain him why he needs something different. Another mistake that they could do is just choose the product out of the color. You should first choose the right type of string that you're gonna use, and then you can ask for available color in this type of string. When a player comes to me and asks me what string to choose, I would check how often uh, he plays or she plays. I would uh, always ask if they have um, any arm issue, especially with the elbow. And then, yeah, I always ask what they are looking for. And then from this, I would be able to recommend you what, what's the best string to choose.